Hey everyone, it's Hunter Elmore here with Gravity Sketch, and today we're going to be going over a quick demo on how to take your models from Gravity Sketch and move them over into Viscom AI for visualization. Viscom is great about doing quick AI generated renderings over top of your models or sketches. There are two methods of moving objects between Gravity Sketch and Viscom AI. The first is a 2D screenshot workflow, and the second is a 3D model workflow. We're going to start with 2D screenshots first. And today we're going to be using a truck model as an example. This is here in the Community Creations tab under your asset library. It's going to be called Truck by Hunter if you want to follow along. But now that we've got that model in here, let's go ahead and move to our screenshot tool. If we click that blue menu button on our non-drawing hand, go to the Save tab, we'll see this camera in the top right. We're going to make sure that's set to the cloud saving point down here at the bottom so that it uploads to the cloud and click on that camera icon. This will open up my screenshot tool, which I can then navigate throughout the room with and use to take snapshots. Uh, this will have a live updating viewport, as you're seeing here, that will change my view depending on where I'm standing and what I'm looking at. So make sure that as you're taking these images, there are angles that you really like and want to use as a direct underlay for your renderings in Viscom. When I'm ready to take the image, all I have to do is click this camera button, and that image will be taken and uploaded directly to the cloud on my landing pad. So let's go ahead and hop over to landing pad. And when we first log in, the first thing we'll see is that in my files, I have those images that I just took in headset. They've been uploaded as PNGs here and I can download them directly from this location. I also have another option to take screenshots instead of being in headset. If I navigate to that same file, so 3D assets, community content, truck by Hunter and double click on it, it will open up the web viewer here on landing pad. And if you're new to the web viewer, it can be very helpful to kind of evaluate your different models without having to make a collab room and hop in via screen collab. The web viewer allows me to rotate and look at my model. I can't actually create anything in here, but I can take screenshots. So if I click on that screenshot button down there in the bottom right, I have a couple options that pop up. I'm going to set it to transparent background and then click that again, pick where I want my screenshot to go and then save the screenshot out. So whatever view I currently have is where this screenshot is going to be taken from. Then that screenshot is going to be placed in the same location as those that I took in headset. So here I'm going to do one more. I'm going to change the name of it so that it doesn't overwrite that screenshot I originally made. And then once that saves, I can go ahead and exit out of the web viewer, which I don't have to worry about saving or anything like that because I didn't change anything. So I can go back to my files and those two new screenshots that I just took will appear here in the exact same location. Then we can go ahead and download those and move over into Viscom. Now I can just go to my file explorer, grab those images or whichever one I want to use, drop it onto a new canvas, type in a prompt and click generate as I always would in Viscom. So now this is going to give me a new AI generated image using that underlay as reference to whatever I set it to. And let's say I'm not super happy with this one. Maybe I want to adjust some settings and click generate again to get a second option and just continue that workflow until you're happy with your results. As far as the second workflow where we're using a 3D model, we'll go ahead and hop into that one. And this can be a bit more useful because instead of picking your views when you're in headset, you can pick them while you're in Viscom AI. So we're gonna start here by going back to that web viewer. I can navigate back through 3D assets in my asset library, community creations, and truck by Hunter. I'm gonna go ahead and do this in the web viewer so I don't have to hop in headset or anything like that. And now instead of clicking the screenshot button when this loads up, I'm actually going to click that upward arrow button in the top left, which is our export menu. And now that the file has gone ahead and all loaded up, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to move up here, click on this export button. I'm going to set this to custom because I want GLB. That's the file type that we found works the best between Gravity Sketch and Viscom. I'm going to go ahead and type in this box right here just to name the file and click export once I'm happy with where everything's at. This is a great way to export files without actually having to hop inside of the headset and come back and forth. It just makes it a little bit easier this way. So I'll see that it says export in progress. I can close out of that web viewer. And if I go down here to my cloud exports tab, it's already ready to go. All I have to do is click on that and download. Then we can move back over here into Viscom, make a blank canvas. In this case, we'll just go with landscape. And instead of dropping an image in here now, I have that model. So I'm gonna go up to the top left and click on insert and upload a 3D model. Then I can drag my model in here and it'll come in just like this. You'll notice there's a green bounding box where I can actually pick within that box and rotate my model to whatever view I want. I can also resize that bounding box as a whole to make sure that my model is taking up the amount of the canvas that I want it to. And I'm just gonna rotate this into a location that I'm pretty happy with for a view. And then once it's there, I'm gonna go over, type in my prompt and click generate. 
So it will generate an image based on whatever is the most recent view of that 3D model. Then I can hide that new image after I've added it to the scene, rotate my original model again to whichever direction, and generate a new image. So this is a great way to get kind of an infinite number of viewpoints with only one interaction between Gravity Sketch and Viscom. And this workflow is very prevalent in automotive. The great part about it is that you're able to do a 3D sketch or a 3D model in Gravity Sketch and then get an infinite number of renderings off of that that all speak to one another and relate directly in the AI tool. So hopefully this has been a helpful workflow to show you guys and we'll see you in the next one.